All right, so you want to share your mobile app with a customer or a realtor partner. You can do that from the website right here, or you can do it from your phone. The share functionality is the same in both locations. But if you click share here on the dashboard, you'll see a pop-up that gives you the options. Just follow this like you're reading a book. So first, am I sharing it with a borrower or a realtor? Am I sharing the app? This, this is not the loan application. This is your mobile app. So this is what pre approved Me app stands for is a mobile app on your phone. From the mobile app, your clients might be able to apply for a loan using the 1003. That might be one of the widgets, but what you're doing here is you're saying, I'm sending my mobile app directly to their phone. And from that, they can do what they need to do. Now, if your client has basically come to you and said, I want to apply for a loan, please start by sending the 1003. Skip the app, the mobile app altogether and send the 1003. Then you decide, am I sending the short form or the long form? Add their name, email, phone number down here and click send. I'm going to go ahead and share the mobile app just so you guys can see what that looks like. You won't have to worry about selecting anybody from a list like this. It'll just be your company and you yourself. Then decide how am I going to send it? Text, email, or link. Now, personally, I like to fill as much of this information in as possible because if you fill in enough information, it will create a lead in your system that you can track. If you just put a phone number, then it's just a quick share and it's not going to track it inside of pre-approved me. So your client might get the text, but they may never register and you're going to be up a creek not knowing who you sent it to. So if you can get their name, email, phone number, I'm going to go ahead and create this by saying um, KO met this person at a soccer game. So these are internal notes only for you, then click send. Now I've selected text. You can do email or you can send a link. If you click link, this is just basically something you want to paste into your email. If you're going to compose something more specific, it will create a link for this borrower. Go ahead and click send. Then I'm going to go over here to my phone. This is what your customer is going to see. So they will get a text message. Here's the link. As you can see, here is the mobile app. The client's going to click the link. The first step is now they're going to get taken to a place to create a password. So here's my password creation screen, all the contact information I use to create their account. Here's my super secret password. Click get started. And then from here, your clients are going to be asked to pin the app to their home screen. So. This is not a native app unless you're one of our enterprise customers and you have an app in the App Store. If you're using our normal version, this is what's called a progressive web app, which means we're going to give them instructions on how to add it to their home screen. So they would just click and follow the instructions. It's slightly different for Apple devices, but in this case, I'll click the three dots, click add to home screen. I'm going to confirm, and then there's one more confirm. And as you can see, when I windows out of this and go back to my phone, boom. I've got my PAM University mobile app. All I have to do to launch it is click the, uh, the icon and it's gonna take me as a borrower directly in. Now inside of the system, as you can see here, the customer is gonna get a pop-up explaining what the mobile app does. This is customizable. So put your best foot forward, figure out what you wanna tell your clients about yourself, about your business introduce it because you really want them to get in here and feel like they're getting value from day one. So that is how you get the mobile app on their phone. And in other videos, we'll describe to you what the app actually does. Take care.